Ladies and gentlemen of the Big Valley Jamboree, please show some love to the great Randy Travis. <laughs> Thank you. Good to be good to be with you. I uh, about to say good to be back again. We've been up in this part of the country before, obviously playing shows. But uh, as far as having played this particular venue, I'm not sure if we ever not. To be honest. Well, you know, I, I know I was talking to a lot of Kiss and Country listeners uh, on the radio through the week who have been excited to see you because uh, you got some great fans here and they don't care where you play and they're going to be out there you know no matter what happens weather wise we're going to be out there for you cheering you on and uh, just well, welcome back first of all to, to Canada to Alberta and we can't wait to see you tonight new CD is yeah. out yeah first well, one in three years yeah well, no actually it, well, it is the first country project in eight years for eight us. years for the country yeah, yeah. yeah first in eight years i'm I, I find that hard to believe when i say it you know uh it's I, i'm excited about it i in other words we kyle lenning uh, my producer he and i have worked on this uh we worked on pretty much every project for the last 23 or 4 years together and so he, myself, uh, two other people over at Warner Brothers looked for a year to find the material on this album. So as far as right from a songwriting standpoint, it's great, great material. I'm very proud of it. I have to say, I feel incredibly underdressed for you. And the reason why I'm dressed this way is because I'm an optimist. All right, as far as the weather goes, I like to think of if I dress for the beach, then maybe the weather will treat us like the beach and give us warmth. <laughs> but you've always, you've always been kind of a, a classy, distinguished guy. I got to know, does Randy Travis even own a pair of sweatpants? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. You know, because I am uh, I'm one of those guys who has been for 30, well, a little over 30 years now, up in the morning, uh, probably... In the beginning, it was about three days a week hitting the gym. Now, three, four, five, sometimes six days a week go to the gym, me and a few of the guys on the crew. And so, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll see me in sweatpants first thing every morning. All right, so to look forward to, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Wherever it, your gym might be, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So uh, you've been known for years now as uh, kind of the one of the main threads of country music, even though it's been eight years since you've had a country album. Uh, when we think of core country artists, you know, your name always comes up. Uh, I was reading through a, an encyclopedia of country music the other day, and your picture comes up in this section, and it's called The Hunks and Hats. The Hunks the hun and Hats. I don't, know, I don't know if you remember this or not, but when, when you and Travis Trick came out, apparently they, they decided to dub this era The Hunks and Hats. I've heard more terms, and <laughs> I, you know, I, I, I've forgotten probably some of them. It started out as... Uh, Neo-traditionalist, new traditionalist, just traditionalist, uh, had acts, <laughs> no had acts, uh, too many to keep up with. You know, I have been as far as a country singer. You know, I love the traditionalist. I came out of listening to and then growing up and singing songs from the Haggards, the Jones, the Hank Williams, the Lefty Frizzell there in his tub. The old country stuff is what I love and it's what I love to do. Well, you know what? We cannot wait for you. Big Valley Jamboree, get ready. Thank you so much for coming into Kissing Country in Big Valley 2008. Thanks. It's a pleasure meeting you, sir. Thank Good you so much. Good to see you, too. And uh, whatever weather we have, you're dressed for it. You betcha. I'm ready for anything, man. I'm, I'm warm. I'm cold. I'm, I don't know. But. I may be calling for you, best. Yeah. If, you <laughs> All right. if, if the weather turns off that cold. All right, man. Well, we're, we're ready for you. <laughs> right. Thank you. Randy Travis, everybody. All right, once again, everybody, Big Valley Jamboree. I hope you guys are ready. They're here. It's Sugarland. We're ready. Are you ready? Are y'all ready? ready? Bring We're it ready. on. Be ready. Welcome back to Alberta, first of all. Thank you. It's beautiful here. And it's funny because uh, Kissing Country history, as you look back about four years ago, it was in Edmonton, Alberta, and this new group, Sugarland, had this amazing song called Baby Girl. And all the fans were just clamoring about it, and they loved it. Our friends at Lamley's Western Wear, they decided, well, you know what, let's have a, a private thing, and we'll do it in one of our shops. And you guys came and played at the time uh, for all these fans. Now you're on top of the country world four years later. How's that? It's good. It's good. Yeah. It's as good. long as you start in a store window, things are going to work out. That's right, which we did. It was fun. I, we were, Christian was just remembering, we were in a window, like with our backs to the window, uh -huh. and the checkout, and people were dispersed among the boots. The latest album, which I happen to have a copy of. Oh my god! Look gosh. at that! Look at that! She, all right, love on the inside, nice. and and I gotta say, how oh cool gosh. is it that your fans are so supportive that you guys actually take the time to pay them back with a deluxe fan edition? Right on. Oh. Yeah, and not only that, you know, we wanted to make sure we released that one first because a lot of times you'll see artists, well, they'll they'll release their regular album and then they'll come six months later with their deluxe with some really cool stuff that you want. <laughs> you gotta buy the CD twice, and we said, wait a minute. 
why don't we put this out first if it's really for the fans? <laughs> yeah, somebody's got the they're doing the math, but in a different direction. So see, it's, see, to me that tells me it's like it's almost like when you pass a letter around in class, it's like you know, do you like me a lot? A little or not at all, right? We're checking a lot. We like you a lot. Sugarland loves you. Yes. Go buy this album. Go buy that album. I, I want to talk about Eating it. sleepy. Oh, if we can just get a shot over here, your guys' uh, wardrobes. Oh, yeah. Which are just, oh, yeah. You, you guys are styling. You, We're styling. Yeah. We're trying to style. You get it done as far as the clothing goes. And if actually we can come back to even in the liners here. There's this picture. <laughs> which, which, I, first of all, I want to know what was so funny in this picture. Yeah. Who knows? But I look like, I the, like the cat that ate the canary, and, and he's I'm looking, looking at, at the girl like who ate the, the canary. canary. <laughs> and then if we go back one, oh, oh, yeah. what's this outfit, Jennifer? This is like crazy Willy Wonka outfit. Oh. No, Maybe like well, it. we'll call it sexy Willy Wonka. <laughs> that's, that's a very is that like a Halloween costume? Yeah, like all of all of our bass players' costumes, she's sexy, whatever, like sexy Darth Vader. So <laughs> that's sexy Willy Wonka. Well, definitely, uh, the CD is fantastic, start to finish. Um, one thing that, as a Sugarland fan, I have to know, and I mean this with nothing but respect, Jennifer, you make some of the most amazing sounds. That if anybody else who doesn't have your voice tries to do, <laughs> so, it, it goes ugly, you know. Like, <laughs> How did you learn you could do that? I've just been doing it since I was a little girl. So, you know, since I was about seven. And, and when you do it for long enough, you play around with stuff. You practice things. Different things come out. They work. Some things don't. And, and you just sort of shape your sound from there. Well, you know, it's an incredible combination you guys have been putting on together. And uh, uh, we'll go ahead. Quell right now the rumors of, of a solo career. Yes. No, I'm happy where I am. We get that a lot. Yeah. But, yeah. But I, I'm not going to go. not going solo. I'm not going to go solo, I promise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was worried about, honestly. Me either. Man. We're happy. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a good relationship and a good creative relationship. And obviously, I think, you know, this record is testimony to that. So well, it's you know, good the, stuff. The record, again, is fantastic. Uh, the first music video for All I Want to Do. Wow. Fun, huh? Fun and... Uh, I'm I very say, island. For, for very island. In fact, that's kind of what inspired my, my wardrobe are. today. I, is, is I, I wanted I to, to do this in, oh, in honor of you guys. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're we what? should have brought Lays. Oh, well, I tried to go tropic for you. And you're, <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate to say this. I hate to say this, okay? But you're in that string bikini an awful lot. Well, it's surfing. Yeah, I, I figured a wetsuit would look pretty dumb. For some ladies, <laughs> for some ladies, it could be a little, a little. Uh, it was a significant emotional event. I don't yeah. take to those things very easily. Are, are you comfortable in, in the string bikini? No. no. I mean, in my real life, yes. On a camera, no. You're not really comfortable in this either, to be honest. Oh my God. It kind of Gorsh. Really <laughs> up in here. And, and I, I don't know. <laughs> he looks great. You are ready for your close-up. Really? You wow. are so ready. You're way more comfortable than I was. Okay, I'm gonna go find. You gotta my... sing it though now. I'm That's go... right. Let's hear you it. You gotta yeah. sing it. Oh, together, all together. Wanna... Sugarland. Got it. They're coming I up. I love it. I, I gotta go cover up. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>